So, <clears throat> I had a plan for today. Not like, you know, a plan that people have to be worried about, if you know what I mean. More so, I had a plan to, like, self-soothe, do some chores, do um, you know participate in hobbies that I love but instead instead I chose to cry myself to sleep on this futon and sleep for like Six hours. So the first thing that I did was we'll just kind of stare at my phone. So I just kind of stared at my phone. to get out of bed, walk my dog. Tried to turn on some music. Try some music. Um, do you know, do like some easier things. I've been playing in a sharp key this whole time, like, wondering why I feel so pitchy when I'm singing these songs. Maybe because your ukulele is tuned up to a half step. It's true. My cat. My kitten. When I got her in July, she was only a few months old. And now, for some reason, she won't stop meowing. It's just her thing. Started a few days ago. Well, I would say it started day before yesterday. So I feel I feel like shit. I f I feel crappy. But no one's ever just one emotion. No, we, we are, we are all built very, 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 very complex, very, very complex ways. Um, one, two, three, four. I don't like the way that sounds. That's not any easier. Anyway, Smash Mouth. <laughs> somebody, somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger. In the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, years start coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop. No, I'm kidding. Um, memes. I, you fell for it. <coughs> 
Okay, future me, I, I really want to know. Future me, present you, whatever y'all want to call it. I really want to know if you guys are like about to be like, is she seriously about to sing this whole song? Or got excited that I was about to sing this whole song? And then just like, pew. This is like the beginning of a Rickroll. It's like, it's like the Rickroll template. Now, why didn't Rick and Morty decide to do something like a Rickroll? Because, I mean, that's his name, right? So, I don't really know what else to say. I was going to tie-dye. I I don't know if you can hear, but my puppy is on my tarp. Um, I hadn't mixed any of the dyes yet. Thank goodness, because I have pets. And they get into things like toddlers. So, <clears throat> I have the rubber bands. I have the strings. I have the linen. I have the means. I got my tarp. I have my hands. I have my heart. But I don't have pants. Everything was settled. And everything was ready. But when it was time to go, I couldn't stay steady. Wait. So I sat here. And I watched TV. And I cried. And I tried to drink coffee. But I fell asleep. And I'm looking at my mess. It's not just on the floor. It's in my head and the way that I dress. I don't know. I can't remember the four chords or their order. So I just keep messing up. And that like takes away the concentration from trying to freestyle. And I haven't... Mm, I haven't written anything in so long. So this is the time in which you're supposed to practice mindfulness. And it's kind of hard because my brain has gone everywhere. Mm. The one thing I don't like about making matcha or having matcha is that it loves to stick to the bottom of whatever you're drinking. Did I fix it? Yeah. Bubbles solve everything. Where's my candle? <sighs> so, I know you're awkwardly looking at this. Present you, future me. And I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Because this is one of those moments where my life isn't going so good or my thought process isn't going so good and my mind is all over the place but you know i'm trying to i'm trying to stay positive i'm trying to reposition myself to allow my perspective to change but sticking to this couch this lazy boy is not gonna help and I was like thinking I was a hoarder because I have like I have these comics that I haven't read I have books that I haven't read like I have sharpies that are still in the box I have coloring books that are only like two pages full Please excuse me, it's time to take my drugs. Uh. Excuse me. So, my, 
my I this is the time when I need to take a time out. This is the time when I need to take the time. I I need to step back and ask myself the important questions in life. On a scale from one to ten, I would say my physical pain is at a six. Um, on a scale of one to ten, and ten being the worst, I feel like that's redundant to say. Um, <clears throat> one out of ten, I'm overwhelmed at like a seven. Emptiness is that more like an eight? Um, anxiety is also an eight. Um, I feel, I feel like I know that doing these things would make me happy, but I don't feel like doing these things will make me happy. And my cat's talking. And I, the, the emotional side of my brain and the logical side of my brain are at war right now. They're not at war, it's more of like an argument per se. And I'm trying to focus on having a wise mind, which is not flat and logical, but it's also not emotional and uncontrollable. So... A logic, like I said, the logical thought is doing these things will make you feel better. You know, um, picking out tomorrow's outfit, um, I don't know, walking, walking your dog. I, I literally have a checklist on my laptop. That shows me, it shows me, it says bored, look at me. And like, I can't, I, I can't like find the, the will, my, my willingness, willingness is very low. And you know, bored, look at me, massage. I have three massagers. Two of them are electric. One is vibrating. The other one is more like it, it moves like this. Um, then I have an S hook. I also have a TENS unit. Take your medication, I did. I can't stop my alarm to take my meds until after I take my meds or I might forget to take my meds. It's just, it has to be this way. That's just, it, no, there's no other. That's the OCD talking. Um, anyway, do my hair, <coughs> whether that means clip the sides, dye it, style it, whatever the fuck. I love doing that. Research. I mean, I don't like have a topic or anything that I want to learn right now, but there are things that I'm trying to practice like tattooing and, you know, things about my health that I should research so that I have a better understanding. I find that fun. Um, tie dye, like I said, my tarp is out. The dye is in a bag. The bottles are in a bag. There's 
pre-dyed stuff that needs a second run in a different design and like I said they're already folded I just had to put in the dye we'll soak them and put in the dye you y'all know how to do that stuff I'm neither here nor there yes it is but I can't seem to concentrate like I know I was talking about oh um wash and dry clothes I have a mini handheld washer and dryer and it's a good way to trick yourself into doing some exercise um it saves water it saves electricity you know and I'm not gonna lie it's kind of fun like I sweat afterwards but it's like <sighs> the pie tastes better with your blood sweat and tears you know it's the harder you work for something the the more you cherish the outcome and in my vision so yeah um filter water i don't use water bottles i have mason jars all over the place and i'll filter water put it in a mason jar and put some of the mason jars in some of them in the fridge some of them just like sitting out but they're all like sealed so you know just pick one up and bring it to your bedroom or whatever or anyway sometimes i boil the water and i do have tops like different tops for um distilled versus filtered water and yes there's a difference don't come at me don't at me anyway look at your crystals i have a lot they're fun i they feel cool and I'm, I'm not gonna go into that right now give the catch treats comics service your vape clean your nails count your blessings make tea stretch physical therapy hoop take a nap i sure as hell did that meditate do the dishes decorate clean the stove can food oh mason jar jar food i should say jar food instead of canned food um like i said i'm scared of bugs so I don't like open food. Um, for some reason, open drink is different because you never have like more than one open drink around. I don't anyway. Um, you know, uh, a mason jar that had water in it isn't going to attract bugs, you know, um, so I like to, um, I have a lot of mason jars and all the food that comes in like boxes and stuff and like, ugh. I just, I pretty much put them in the cans and then if it comes with directions, I cut the directions out and I put it on one of the cans. I keep calling it a can when it's a glass jar and I don't know if you could tell, but I have to clean my nails vlog i'm doing that right now oh my god clean the bathroom bake listen to creepy pasta i love creepy pasta clean the fridge i should do that without your camera i'm doing that now be mindful do your makeup sort clothes contact juggle poi watch youtube or something it literally says watch youtube or something Send files to my terabyte, listen to music, play an instrument, dance, train the dog, walk the dog, cook, clean, organize, journal, read, draw. So, my plan was to tie-dye, and it's, it's something that takes, you know, a couple hours between setup and the time that you're, like, done. It's not, you're not really done until, like, the next day. And... You know, I have my Sharpies for my smaller projects. That's when you just, like, draw a design and then you make it bleed with alcohol. Like, isopropyl. Um, that's one of my favorites. But I can't. 
I'm proud of myself for reading that list that I made. I'm proud of myself for having a list. I'm trying to catch myself every time things start to get difficult. And so far, I'm doing an okay job because I'm not crying on camera. Um, I really hope it takes me a couple years to cry on camera. I don't want to be like one of those drama peeps on, on the YouTubes. I really want to help, you know, people, whether it's present you or future me or, you know, what have you, but I don't know. Sometimes a lot of the times I just feel like really empty. So I try to fill myself with activities. And then I get overwhelmed, and then the thoughts don't go away, and I let them take hold. I think I keep losing my train of thought because I keep trying to direct my train of thought. I think that's, um, that's like one of those things about, you know, not just people who have depression or anxiety, but people who have thoughts that they know that they don't want. And it's best to look outside of your thought instead of saying, I feel empty. It's, I have thoughts of emptiness. Now, that, that seems to take me out of it because it's just a thought. When I repeat, I, am, I feel empty in my brain, it makes me feel like I'm in a sea of black and I'm trying to gain, you know, my sea legs or my space legs or whatever you, whatever you call it and trying to you know, like stop the vertigo. But as I'm trying to gather myself, my limbs start to pull away from me like one of those old wooden dolls with a button on the bottom and it has the person, when you push the button, the person just like, <laughs> yeah. So it's like that, but without the strings, like... My arms are four miles away from me. My feet are a block and a half away. You know, like, that sort of thing. However, there are no blocks. There are no miles. Because I'm in this space of just blackness. It's just, there's nothing. There's not a twinkle. There's not a star. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I can see reality at the same time. You know, and sometimes it's, I used to say, if I feel like I have a broken VCR in my head and it tries to replay thoughts that are memories that I don't necessarily want to relive, but because I'm stuck and I don't have control of my limbs. I'm forced to sit there and watch it and I try to will the VCR to stop or to pause but I just couldn't and that's what I would say when I was younger and it has evolved into like my arms and limbs are, are literally not on my body because I'm freaking out so much or because I feel so empty you pig get off of that I'll be right back. So, I had to put up, excuse me, uh, excuse me, I had to put up, hello, I had to put a tarp over my tarp, I had to put a tarp over my clothes that were on the tarp. 
because my dog wanted to eat her bone on my shirt and that's not okay <sighs> but I was talking about emptiness and being overwhelmed and like I'm I'm currently like fighting really hard to be okay and I know I'm gonna win because it's like I've already tried to like end it a bunch when I was younger like over over a dozen times and I feel like at this point I feel like at this point I'm supposed to be here for some sort of freaking reason because I can't leave. I say that, you know, about life. I'm, I'm supposed to be here because I, ca I can't leave. I've tried. There is no exit for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I just, it's not, suicide's not for me, you know? Um, tip, if you are feeling as though you're in crisis and you do have those feelings, yes, there's a national hotline. However, it's best to look at your local crisis line because they have better resources for you. They would more likely have, um, you know, therapists that are not just on call, but, you know, not just therapists that are on call, but say you call them and you're experiencing these feelings, you know, you can create a plan and go there. You know what I mean? Like, or do the Zoom appointments or, you know, stuff like that. And when you call the national hotline, you're going to be on hold, you're going to be on hold for a very long time. At least I was the umpteen times that I've tried to call. The texting options are good. Those are usually fast. Um, but it's it's best to get some call somewhere where you know you're going to get help for the future. Um, when, when I get like this... I don't want to eat, but I want to eat everything, but I don't want to cook, but I have leftovers, but I don't want those leftovers. And I'm just, I'm not only thinking and technically fighting with myself, like trying to make it better, but it's like, no, I don't want to do that. Well, let's try this. No, I don't want to do that. But I feel extremely, extremely ambivalent. I... When you see both sides, you know, like, hey, it's almost going to be six o'clock. So if you want to eat something, I suggest you eat something now versus I'm not really hungry. And I feel like we did eat too much this morning and today, you know, like after you broke the seal, you kind of went a little psycho with the fridge. And I'm like, well, you still kind of need to eat every couple of hours to keep that metabolism, you know, going. But, you know, you also got to fucking exercise and not eat a whole fucking, like, meal for a family of seven. And why am I like this? And it's not just food. I'm not... It's not just food. You know, it's, it's tie-dyeing. I, can you hear the tarp? I think you can see it. That's right. The dog is on the tarp. Yes. And here is the tarp that's covering the clothes. So, you know, I put all my stuff out. Literally, I put myself out there. <laughs> and when it came time to, you know, do the thing... You know, I had color requests. I had color ideas. I was looking at, like, my palettes and thinking, like, ooh, what colors, you know, look good together, blah, blah, blah. And 
then like one thought snowball downhill and then I end up crying myself to sleep while watching Gravity Falls like and I tried using a coping skill watch YouTube or something you know I, I love dying dying clothes did you hear my cat I love dying linen dying blankets and the like um But I don't, I don't know. I'm, stop touching your eye. I'm trying, I'm trying to be okay. Don't try to be okay. Just be okay. Just have smile. I have a lit candle over there and I can smell it from here. But this is... <sighs> It's weird because I hold my dog like this when she's like going crazy. I was just like, that's weird. It used to be like this, but then it turned into this because COVID. I'm going to be okay. I'm feeling feelings. And there's nothing wrong with feeling feelings. Feeling feelings means that you're human. And I don't want to fill my tank because I like to change my coil every thousand puffs. And I'm at 1,376 puffs, which means that it's been like two days since I've had to service it. And it's not like, oh, if you let your coil burn, you ruin the vape. It's more like if you let the coil burn, you ruin your lungs. <sighs> But it's not burnt yet, so. That smells good, too. So, like I said, this is the time where I need to practice mindfulness. Which would be, since I already went over the module at this, this point, I can look at, like, just the skills and be reminded of what they mean. So for mindfulness, we have observe, describe, participate, non-judgmental, non-judgmental, English? Not today. Effectiveness, focus on what works. One mindfully, present moment non-judgmental participate enter into the experience describe put words on just the facts observe just notice wise mind so i'd already talked about wise mind i in effectiveness and focusing on what works that would be emotional regulation so describing emotions, I, I did that about 20 minutes ago. Uh, opposite to emotion, action. So opposite to emotion, action means if you're feeling anxious or depressed or upset or overwhelmed or, or any, I wouldn't say negative feeling, but any feeling that you don't want to feel instead of giving into that feeling and hiding away and sleeping for six hours and crying and watching, you know, Gravity Falls, you would self-soothe or do something a happy you would do. Um, so that would be like all the things that I listed on my computer. And I did try that. Problem solving. I mean, the problem is in my head. Accumulate possibility, po po positivities. Positive events or valued actions. That's why I was going to tie-dye. Um, build mastery. Cope ahead. Again, tie-dye. Please. 
physical ills, eating, avoid drugs, sleep, exercise. I think I've done all that except for ex did I exercise today? Did we exercise today? We went for a walk. I don't <gasps> Excuse me, don't look at me like that. Um <laughs> Excuse me. We did go for walks. Um She likes to play with me like she plays with the dogs when there are no dogs and I don't like getting bit. So, if trying to train your dog to not attack you when she's bored is exercising, then I definitely exercise. And then mindfulness on current emotion. I'm having a lot of emotion, but I feel like I'm trying to stay mindful on one at a time. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to. Like I said, I keep losing my train of thought. I keep thinking, like, what the fuck was I talking about? What the heck was I talking about? So, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll watch Markiplier do Five Nights at Friday's fan games. Because that's, that's been my kick. Um, I love FNAF. I, it's, it's, been, um, it's been the reason for many a frightened screams. Many a frightened scream. Um... I think I've played most of them except for Ultimate Custom World. I don't know. The one where I don't I don't know. But I that being said, you know, I've played most of the games. I've watched most of, you know, the gameplays. I've you know, listened to the theories that were just theories. Um but, you know, watching Daco play, you know, five days at Freddy's or day shift at Freddy's or whatever. And, you know, Markiplier's fan games help me out. You know, it, it's like watching a scary movie or whatnot. And that would fall under watch YouTube or something. Um... Trying to stay calm about it is the hardest thing. But I think my boyfriend's home. My dog's staring at the door. I hear keys jingling. That's mindfulness. Describing things that are happening outside. You know, being able to stare at a candle's flame and focus on the embers. I there he is. Oh, I should have sent you a shopping list if you want some uh, Walmart. Oh, you want that? Okay, guys, I gotta make these a little bit shorter.